Boomerangs have been used as tools of war and hunting for over 20 millennia. While the boomerang has been associated with Australian history, it's actually the United States that has held the majority of boomerang championships since 1984, thanks in part to NASA technology. While boomerangs vary greatly in shape, they all have one thing in common. They are airfoils, like wings on a plane. A boomerang is essentially an airfoil, a structure shaped to produce lift when it's moving in the air. Just like the wing of an airplane, a boomerang's upper and lower surfaces can be shaped to give it certain flight characteristics. The forces that act on the wing in motion relative to the air are known as aerodynamic forces. Understanding aerodynamics are important for NASA missions. An example would be how probes landing on Mars have to travel through the red planet's very thin atmosphere. The main basic aerodynamic forces are lift, drag, thrust, and weight. The two wings of the boomerang work together to create two forms of movement, moving forward with the use of thrust, the force that is exerted when the boomerang is released. The thrust is met with a counterforce, known as drag, which is the air itself resisting the motion of the wings. The boomerang is also moving at an angle due to the angular shape of the wings together in relation to the way it is thrown. Because of the Earth's gravity, the force known as weight will pull the boomerang towards the Earth and will increase in strength the larger or heavier students make the wings of the boomerang. The aerodynamic force known as lift, which is the opposing force to the weight, is affected when the angle of attack increases. Lift is what allows the boomerang to fly through the air and counteract against the weight of the object. By constructing a boomerang, learners will be able to form the foundation of aerodynamic forces. They should be encouraged to think about these principles and make speculations about whether or not a boomerang would operate the same way in the International Space Station, which is a microgravity environment.